Hi, my name is Aisha Mustafa, and today I'll be demonstrating how to insert a nasogastric tube. What is a nasogastric tube? A nasogastric tube is a flexible tube of rubber or plastic that is passed through the nose, down to the esophagus, and into the stomach. It can be used to either remove substances or add them into the stomach. A nasogastric tube is only meant to be used on a temporary basis and not for long-term use. So here are the items that you would need for this procedure. First, position the patient in high foulest position and put a towel over the patient's chest. Wipe the patient's nasal bridge with alcohol swab. Next, select the nostril with the greatest airflow. So I didn't have a nasogastric tube, so pretend that it is it. Measure the tube distance from the tip of the nose to the earlobe and then to the siphoid process. You should mark the length on the tube with tape prior to the insertion and lubricate 7.5 cm of the tube. Insert the tube into the patient's nostril that has the greatest airflow and advancing it along the base of the nasal canal directly horizontal towards the nasopharynx. So here's me demonstrating it. Um, I'm so sorry that you can't really see what I'm doing, um, but imagine that that is a nasogastric tube. When resistance is met at the back of the nasal canal, advance the tube gently as it curves downwards to the pharynx. Ask the patient to take a sip of water to help ease the nasogastric tube to its esophagus. Stop when you've reached the distance marker on the nasogastric tube. And before removing the guide wire, aspirate from the nasogastric tube and check for the gastric pH. And if the pH is confirmed, remove the guide wire and tape the tube in place. Are unable to aspirate from the nasogastric tube, do not remove the guide wire and just tape the wire in place. Attach a drainage bag to the end of the tube and secure it for the patient's comfort. Please note, you, there should be a consent document present, size and length of tube inserted, volume and pH of any fluid aspirated, any complications, and whether or not a chest radiograph um, is present.